This is like the sixth year that they've done this uh, event, and um, we were several of us were asked to portray some famous artists. We have uh, Robert Jones as Andy Warhol, and uh, Jonathan Corsi as Claude Monet, and uh, Phyllis Stimel is portraying uh, Mary Cassatt, and then I play Vincent Van Gogh. A brilliant, brilliant man really didn't want to be an artist to begin with. He actually trained as a minister because his father was a minister. And he lived and worked in a uh, poor uh, place where his parishioners were uh, miners. And so he would go and work in the mines with his parishioners. And the church frowned upon that and told him, no, you can't do that. And so he left the church and then he started working for an art gallery in uh, in uh, the Netherlands in Holland where he was born and um, they liked his work and he was like 16 years old and they sent him to uh, London and then to Paris and it was while he was in Paris his uh, younger brother Theo who was very very close to him said you really should be an artist and then undertook to support him pretty much for the rest of his life and they, there are, actually, there is a book of a collection of the letters back and forth from Vincent to Theo and Theo to Vincent. Um, They're very, very, very interesting. Um, talking about his life, his work, his obsessions, his mental illness. He was in and out of mental institutions because he was very passionate about his work. And all the while that he was alive, only one painting sold. One out of the probably 900 <laughs> recorded uh, paintings that he did. Let me, let me mention that this is Gary Thornburg, and he's a professional actor. And Gary, tell us a little bit about your acting career and your association with the Moroni Theater. Ah, uh, well, you know, I go way back with Piedmont Players. Uh, first show I did with them it was a children's theater production back in 1967. And then the very next year, they did uh, Oliver um, as an adult show with a lot of, obviously a lot of kids. And I got to play the Artful Dodger when I was 14 years old on the stage of Keppel Auditorium, 1500 seat auditorium. And um, I've been with doing with shows with them off and on ever since. Even, I mean, moved away for 15 years, but came back and I've been doing shows with Piedmont players for 20 years or more now. Plus we now have a couple of other companies, uh, St. Thomas Players, which I'm doing a show as we speak, um, out at uh, the little Florence Busby Coyer Experimental Theater at Catawba. Um, it's called You Never Can Tell by George Bernard Shaw. Okay, sounds good. Tell us a little bit what's going on with the, with the Piedmont Players now. Are you involved with this latest show that's putting on with Woody Allen? No, no, I'm not. But uh, my friend Jonathan Corsi, who's playing Claude Monet here today, is, uh, mm -hmm. is in that cast. Okay, we're going to have to talk with him later. Yeah, yeah. Um, it should be a good show. Seth Leibowitz uh -huh. is playing the Woody Allen character, and he kind of looks like Woody Allen, so uh -huh. that should be fun. Did you ever do anything with uh, Sam Post? Yeah, yeah, we did... Uh, a play of Sam's uh, for dinner theater, oh gosh, 1996, I think it was, uh -huh. in the uh, upstairs dining room, what's known now as the Wren House, uh -huh. was then known as Rutherford's, and we performed there in the spring of 96, and then uh, later on in the fall that year, we revamped the show and took it to Charlotte and performed at uh, what's known... I, Spirit Square, I guess it's still known as uh -huh, that. I'm not yes. sure. Uh -huh, yes. uh, in the Black Box Theater on the up, in the upstairs of Spirit Square, and it ran for like three weeks there, and got very nice notices from uh, Creative Loafing Magazine. Um, and Sam's show was uh, nominated for uh, best play, best new play, and I was nominated for best actor in a comedy. Okay, Gary, nice talking with you. Thank you, Robert. Nice to see you. You do a good interview. Thank you.